to talk a little bit about the uh, stability of the three-wheel spreader uh, because the four-wheel spreader doesn't tip. It's very stable. Uh, some people think that the three-wheel spreader is unstable. So I just want to show a little bit of why it's not really unstable and that there is some advantages uh, to the fact that you are able to tip it. So that's what I'm going to show in this video. All right, without any fertilizer in the front, there's no weight up front, and that's the wide axle. No weight in the front, can it tip? You can lean it over and you can tip it. You can lean it over and you can tip it. So yes, it will tip. Also, don't forget, when you uh, are normally fertilizing and your fertilizer is low in the hopper, what do you always wanna do with the push better? Bounce it around, because it's light, can't do that. But you can come to a stop, tip it, level your fertilizer when it's low, and get going again, finish up the rest of the house on the way back to the truck. So that is an advantage of the single wheel in the back is the fact you can stop and tip it. Now, is it easy to tip when it's empty? You can see me doing like this. Um, does it want to tip? No. Now I'm going to put some weight in it. I'm going to put 80 pounds in it. Oh, these are heavy. And it's not very easy to tip now. It doesn't want to tip. So with fertilizer, when it's full, it's not tippy. Now I could turn this wheel this way. Can I tip it? Yeah, I gotta really push down on it. So it's not very tippy with a single wheel in the back. Of course, with the two wheels in the back, you can't tip it at all. 